What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Retro Quinn, and we are here with the review and the on feed of the Kobe 6 Reverse Grinch. Yes, so man, we're gonna go ahead and start with this box like we always do. So y'all can see right out of the gate, man. Coke, uh, Nike brand hit us with the regular box that he, I think they done the same style with the original Grinch that dropped back in 2010. And then they re-released them again in 2020. And of course I struck out on both of those, but we, we still got them on the list. We, we gotta get the originals. Even though hot take, I like the reverse better, but it's neither here nor there. But we got this like reptilian type texture over the top of the box with Kobe logo and his signature right here up under it. We're gonna go ahead and get into the details. We got the Kobe 6 Pro Troll. The colorway is bright crimson and black. And I got these in a size 12. Definitely go up a half size at least. That, that's the minimum. Go up a half size because these are basketball shoes. They are performance shoes. So they're not gonna fit like your regular shoe. The performance shoes, they're typically a lot snugger because you want that like compact feel when you on the court hooping and stuff. But um, I would even go up a whole size and you you won't be off, you won't be bad off going up a whole size, but it really just depends on how you like for your shoes to fit at the end of the day. I don't mind the snugness, but I don't want it too, too snug because Aunt I got a little old and the bunions hurt a little more now. So I, I need I need my right size, but I got a size 12 in these. The color code and the style number is FV4. 921 600 and the retail price point on these was nothing but 190 man i love that i love that because we now the retail price is crazy and we we just got regular white paper all black inside so it ain't nothing crazy but we ain't come for that we ain't even come for that we came for these bad boys right yeah so we're gonna go ahead and put that one down and I'm gonna let y'all get a beautiful view of these. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't make this up, y'all. I cannot make this up. But we got a beauty. We got a beauty right here. And I'll let y'all look at the insole. Now I'm not gonna take the insole out of the shoe. I tried to take it out, but it was super, super tight. So I should have an insole up here on the screen somewhere so that y'all could see it. But you can see y'all, um, Kobe wanted his shoes to fit very snug, in which, like I said, a lot of hoopers, they prefer the snug fit. So on the insole, you can see that it says, molds to my foot. And it got the number 24, which was Kobe Bryant's number. But um, that's what we got right there. And then just overall, we got that all over crimson red all the way throughout the shoe. And really this, this video is just not giving it the justice, man. But this crimson is really, really bright all over the shoe. And this, a shoe like this definitely gonna stand out because you got the bright crimson red all over and then you got the green shoelaces that just popping all the way through. And you can see the green Kobe, Kobe Bryant logo on it as well, man. It, it's just a beautiful shoe. I, I can't lie. And then um the same type of, I guess, texture that was on the box, we got that same reptilian type texture all the way throughout the shoe you can you can hear it when i scratch on it and stuff but we got that same material all over the shoe and um i, I don't know if this is like a like a fly knit material up under it or or some type of leather but it's, it's very very lightweight though for sure there's a lightweight texture and then they just added this reptilian texture all the way through it because y'all do know that kobe being brian nickname was the black mamba so we gotta get, it, it's only right that we get the reptilian texture on it. And you can see that we got the black Nike check here on both sides, so kind of popping out, standing out there. And then on this back side, like the heel area of the shoe, it's kind of like, a, I mean, you can see Kobe's uh, signature right there behind like a, a hard plastic shell, but 
I don't know what type of material this is. I do see this on a lot of different Air Max and different Nike styles and stuff, but I know Kobe had a lot of issues with his Achilles and stuff. So maybe they implemented something like this and with Kobe didn't, Kobe didn't hoop in these particularly, but um, I'm guessing that because of the, of the Achilles injury and like, you know, the heel, uh, ankle injuries and all of that, they implemented some type of hard texture in the back to, you know, kind of protect you a little even though it's not gonna give you maximum protection, but you know, it can it can help you a little bit though. And then if you see the bottom all the way throughout, you got the foam material. Uh, I think it's like that Zoom, well yeah, Nike Zoom. You can actually see Nike Zoom right here on the back of it, but it's like a Nike Zoom um, technology that they put in it. Very soft, easy on the foot. Like I said, the, the bunions hurt, man. So Nike, I, I appreciate y'all for doing that for Unk, man. And we got the red, you know, the red insole with the texture and stuff like I told y'all earlier. Red sock liner, all of that, man. It's just, I, I can't get over how beautiful this shoe is, y'all. And then the, ve the very bottom of it, you know, just a kind of like a standard, um, you know, Nike basketball shoe bottom. One touch that I do like, they like that they added is right here on the back that y'all can see. They put like some little speckles in it in which it ain't really noticeable, but it, it's the small things for me. But we got the speckles in the back and then we got the Kobe uh, logo right there as well. And I'm guessing this is, yeah, I don't know if this, yeah, this, this is actually hard. So it's actually regular like carbon fiber as well too. So that's a good little touch there too, just for that added support when you out there hooping and stuff. And like I told y'all in my pickup video, this is easily a 10 out of 10. No contemplating. We, we ain't even got to argue with it or nothing. It, it's a solid 10. That, that's it man solid 10 but hopefully y'all enjoyed the review on these like i said this is definitely a 10 out of 10 probably my favorite pickup of the year even though i ain't really picked up a whole lot of them but this kobe this kobe six man this y'all y'all just don't know how hard it was to get these and the resale prices through the roof through the roof when i went to pick these up it was about 30 about 30 or 40 people in line just waiting for anything that didn't get picked up and I went online to look at the resale prices, $700. And which they, I'm pretty sure the resale price them probably went down now. I did hear some people saying that they may go down to about three, 400, but I honestly don't see the resale price getting any lower than that. But don't rush to get them because um, like I said, that, that six, seven range, I don't think they're gonna always be that, um, especially after about i'm gonna say like a month maybe shoes like this even though they super super hype the price will go down um i'm gonna say 350 400. If, if you can find them 350 400 i say go ahead and pull the trigger i don't really see them going down much lower than that and especially with the uh with the regular grinch being out and they the price point still like four five six on those so you gotta factor that in as well but hopefully y'all enjoyed it man that's gonna do it for the video. Y'all make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Stay positive and stay smiling. And make sure that you comment down below and let me know if you got a chance to get these. Let me know if you struck out. Or let me know if you weren't even trying to get them cause you know you were gonna strike out. You just wanted to save yourself the hassle. Like I almost did, but I took a chance on them and I hit. I actually got waitlisted and then they pushed me on through. But that's gonna do it for the review, man. I appreciate all of the love and support. Y'all make sure that y'all stay positive and stay smiling. This is your boy Retro Quinn. I'm out.